Australia is the world's largest molten body exporters. So we're predominantly produced on the molten body in Australia. In Australia, actually, it is our second largest crop. And the barley primarily used for feed, food, but barley is most of the high value barley is used for make beers and whiskeys. The barley genome, actually, we first answer is the question is genetically, what is barley made from? Body have about 40,000 genes. That means in the total, 5 billion genetic letters they encode and the 40,000 genes. Among these genes, generally, they have almost four genes to control everything we're looking for. Like we talk about, we make a beer, I have the better taste, better looking the beers. I mean, look at clear and the crystal clear the beers. And certainly for the tolerance to the environment stress, like high temperature drought, important genes. In our group, we have identified or found it is what we call the acid soil tolerance. Over 70% the West Australian soils or the acidic, or what in other words, the pH is too low. That is a toxic to body growing. So we found that the genes can control the acid soil tolerance. We deploy a lot of genes in a new variety we developed an acid soil tolerance body varieties. So that is single variety we estimated every year can increase 30 million dollars for our training body growers. For the pan genome we answer the questions. You look at just like our human beings, you look at every body actually look at different. Just like our every human being, every individual will look at different. So each universe look different, they have different genomes. So then, so the pan genome actually we try to answer the questions, what it made different bodies? Why some bodies is better than others for some environment? And why some bodies grow better in Europe and other bodies grow better in Australia? We need to understand how the genes can interact with the environment and then make and the crop or make the body more suitable, adapted to the changing environment. So then we are going to provide a genetic solutions to solve the food safety and securities and the issues. It will take five years from the international scientists from 11 countries. We are able to assemble all the aided genes from around the world to develop the next generation bodies. Born in the future in Australia is brilliant, is bright. And that's the kind of, we can see that it is in the last few years, the body in actually increased significantly in the crop production system. But with science progress, with our the whole supply chains, certainly we can make Australian barley is getting much more competitive in the future in the international market. Mm -hmm.